Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642. Today I've got a video for you of this 2016 Jeep Cherokee Latitude. This one is finished off in a very pretty metallic black exterior, which looks really good on the vehicle. Coming along the driver's side, you can see you do have your chrome trim around the windows, tinted privacy glass for rear passengers. This one does have body colored door handles, as well as your body colored heated mirrors. Up top, roof rails, and your radio antenna right there. On the rear of the vehicle, you can see your rear backup camera, as well as your single port exhaust and your Latitude badge right there. On this side, fuel cap is on the passenger side, and down below this one is riding on Firestone tires. They are 225 60 R17, so you do have 17 inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes. And everything follows through around here. Up front, this one does have your typical new Cherokee front end with your projector headlights down below and your LED daytime running lights up top, fog lights all the way at the bottom. This one does have keyless entry, also is equipped with remote start. Just lock it, press twice. And just like that, it starts up. You also have lock, unlock, and panic on the key, of course. And pull this little switch right here and a physical key will release from this fob. Inside, this one does have the black cloth interior, which is in fantastic shape. And this is a nice, durable fabric as well. Do have a manual driver's seat, also your all-weather floor mats down below. To start, insert the key, and just flick to start. Go ahead and close the door. Inside of this Cherokee, you can see you do have a leather wrap steering wheel. Your controls on the wheel for your cruise control, as well as your display right here. You can bring up all kinds of information, audio, setup, digital speedometer. And in typical Chrysler fashion, your audio controls are on the back of the wheel. Padded material up top on the door, as well as some cloth and padded leather on the armrest. Do have both of your front automatic windows, power locks, power mirrors, all of that over here, nice and simple. Headlight controls, gauge dimmer right here as well as some interior lighting controls and things like that. All nice and simple to use. Push this all the way up. Does some storage down below inside of this panel. And all the nice high quality rubberized material follows through on the dash. This is all actually leather stitched up top, which looks very good. Like I said, your gauges, you have your tachometer, speedometer, and center display. Storage right here inside of this compartment. And this one is equipped with your Chrysler Uconnect system right here. You have your radio, media, your controls, heated seats, as well as heated steering wheel, Uconnect apps, your climate, bring all of that up. Like I said, heated seats and steering wheel, which is very nice. Not only is it nice that this includes heated seats in the Latitude trim, heated cloth seats, which if you have never had a vehicle with heated cloth seats, I will still swear that they are probably one of my favorite options you can get in a car. When it's cold outside and you get into heated cloth seats, it's just like a nice warm blanket. This right here, you can turn the screen off, touch it again to turn it back on. Phone controls and everything else. All very nice and simple to use. Hazards, so as you do have uh, your open and close for each vent. Screen, once again off. Your traction control on and off, back, as well as your tune and volume. Really is a great sounding audio system too. All your controls down here for your climate, AC, recirc, defrost. Storage, you do have SD, USB, auxiliary in, and a 12 volt outlet, more storage. Um, another compartment, and this one is equipped with the nine speed automatic transmission. Manual mode. And you do have your parking brake, two cup holders, and a padded leather armrest in the center. Storage inside up there, another USB port, and a 12 volt outlet. So storage up top. Seats in this vehicle, as I said, they're a high quality fabric. They feel great, they're comfortable. They have this cool pattern on them. One of my favorite features is you have this pull up and it will actually reveal a compartment underneath on the passenger side. Um, up top, you have your interior lighting controls. This well as an auto dimming review mirror with your 911 and assist built in. Visors with fandy mirrors, which are illuminated. We'll go ahead and step out. Automatic driver's side window down. Headlights and fog lights are on, as well as pop the hood.
inside of the rear seat. Plenty of space back here. You can fold the seat down from right here. It will uh, create a flat loading floor. Stepping in, I'm 6'2", and I can supine myself perfectly fine in this vehicle. Plenty of space. You have back seat pockets on each side, as you can see, as well as two air vents in the middle and a power outlet down here. Seating is very comfortable. It's the same nice fabric as up front. You have a padded armrest in the middle, two cup holders as well. And your handles on each side. As well as interior lighting up here. Inside of the trunk of this vehicle. Very nice amount of storage space as I showed your back seats do fold. You have this bar on the side which is removable but you can use that as a tie down, keep certain things behind it. Different storage compartments as well. This one includes some kind of Jeep bag. Underneath of here is your inflator kit for if you ever get a flat. Plenty more storage. You have different clips, tie downs, things like that as I showed on the sides and it is illuminated. Also one thing I forgot to mention earlier, this one does have a trailer hitch installed. Fuel cap right here. Back seat from this side. All weather mats follow through. And up front, this one does have a manual passenger seat. As I showed, you can pull this up and reveal your little secret compartment. Inside of here, this one includes all of your original owner's literature as well as your state inspection certificate. You can see too, you have this very nice, almost wood grain look trim on the doors as well. Go ahead, cut the headlights on. They were in automatic mode and the fog lights. And up front you can see projector headlights. Press it one more time and it will turn the fog lights on as well. And under the hood, this one does have Chrysler's 2.4 liter multi-air four cylinder. Everything is in great shape, very clean underneath of here. Sorry if I do seem to be rushing a little bit, but my camera is blinking that the battery is about to die. Either way, go ahead and close that. Bring the automatic driver's side window back up. Cut the vehicle off right here. Move the key. Headlights back in automatic mode. And as always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.